I'm not your average show. I can be doing the most. Look at my wrist as a note. Ask your bitch where did she go? She lands, so don't ask her no more. Big wave over you niggas can float. Big boat a car, I bought a boat. I get away off in the ocean. You get in the way, it's a call. It's good that you got a few photos. I just wanna buy you Jordans. <laughs> Then I'll be casket sharp Skeleton out of your closet And have all of your homeboys mad when they find out I shot It's a lot of niggas like me But them niggas ain't me Bitch, I'm drippin' like a thousand At the club, poppin' bottles up in VIP Bitch, I'm drippin' like a thousand Bad bitches all around me And they focus on me Bitch, I'm drippin' like a thousand what a day it'll be when they stop hating on me It's a like first I want to say thank you for having me down here in Orlando Absolutely. Orlando's been great, thanks for Pop uh, So how about you tell everybody about your shop, where you're located Okay, it's also Jazzy Hair Salon It's um, in Orlando, Florida, 6634 Old Winter Garden Road um, What else you want to know? about it we're a full service salon um, we offer haircuts weave shortcuts relaxers locks natural hair braids everything we have a makeup artist three great barbers I think ten great stylists so we're full service and we've been here for a long time we're gonna keep it popping for a longer time awesome awesome another question what actually got you into the business um as a stylist yes. or a salon owner both um, as a stylist, you see a lot of women out there who, um, they just not living their best life. They're not looking good. They're not feeling good. So I felt like if I had the talent to be able to do it, mm -hmm. then I was going to give them what they needed to be able to start themselves out in their day. Um, I know looking good is a good thing. You wake up in the morning, you're looking trash, then you're going to feel like trash for the rest of the day. So, right. um, I like to be a part of that movement of women feeling empowered. Awesome. Um, as far as the salon is concerned, I actually opened up the salon for my son so that they knew that, um, and my daughter, so that they knew that uh, no matter what they tried to do, that they were going to be the best at it. So if you're going to be a barber, you're going to own you a barber shop. Right. Um, if you're going to be a pharmacist, you're going to own a pharmacy because black business is the best business out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, if it was another young woman wanting to come into the business, what, what advice would you give? Um, the best advice I would give is to know your business. Mm -hmm. So that means that don't just start off saying as soon as you leave out of cosmetology school that you're going to open a salon. You got to know your area, know your mm -hmm. clients, know your talents, and get out there and be known as a stylist mm -hmm. that's rocking with the heaviest of women. I don't just mean like celebrities. Mm -hmm. um, every client that sits in your chair should feel like a celebrity, so mm -hmm. they should be like celebrity status. That's right. going to be the next name of my salon, yeah. celebrity status. So um, I think that um, if they're going to do it, um, just make sure it's for the right reasons. You know. Um, I tell people all the time, um, me helping you light your candle as a queen doesn't dim my light. So you just got to get up under somebody else that knows what mm -hmm. they're doing and they're successful and make them um, your mentor. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did, except I learned from the wrong people. You just got to yeah. make it right. So if it's other barbers, cosmetologists out there that want to reach out or uh, uh, anything like that, uh, how about you just you know let them know what it is that you're doing as far as like hair shows or you know, anything like that? Um, so I do a lot of hair shows with um, Bronner Brothers. Mm -hmm. I also do, I'm actually getting ready to do a lock class in here to teach people how mm -hmm. to properly do locks. Um, there's a lot of locks out here, people pulling up to the ceiling with they seal the missing. Yeah, you know, yeah. Locks starting way back here. Yeah, um, time you know, to let it go. Huh? Right, well, it's because it was done improperly. Yeah. So um, we're actually getting together to um, try to figure out when we could do a class or even do a video on it so that mm -hmm. we can kind of educate people because YouTube University is winning and that's not what's giving mm -hmm. us good advice. Yeah, now I do have to say this because I've been, I've, been, I've been checking it out. All right. Uh, can you bring the camera? Bring the camera, let me show y'all. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. What's happening? I love your locks. <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I don't know how you feel about people, me and playing in your hair, people, but I just wanted to show you locks and let you know that they are beautiful. <laughs> they are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So, I mean, you know, I'm a young, all full gray head person. I'm 39 years old rocking a full head of gray. Mm -hmm. So, if you're going to rock it, you got to rock it to the fullest. I get the Absolutely. youngest of them out there talking about, hey, and it's, <laughs> it's crazy, but it ain't going down. Yeah, no, not at all.
Well, I want no young bucks. That's what's up. Well, I appreciate you for having me. Uh, Absolutely. Hope you have me again or whatever. Yeah. And uh, we most definitely keep in touch. Also, oh, Jazz is open to this one right here. <laughs> that one right there. He said he got the shirt that said, "What well, I said, your girl's favorite barber." We got yeah. street, street. What is it? Street Loop Music Group. Y'all think? Yes, yes. Also, oh, Jazz. It's a lot of niggas like me, but the niggas say me. <laughs> she ready now? Now she I am. She got camera on. Oh. And I must and I must say, I have to say thank you to Papa Duck. Hey man, from a fan to not cutting your hair, you know what I'm saying, to all the women, pat that pussy one time. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Jesus, that's the name of a song, <laughs> pat that pussy. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, do that <laughs> I gotta get all my credit. Oh, all my credit. That's yeah, it. Yeah, man, but uh I wanna say thank you to Orlando. It's been great. Um I'm enjoying myself down here, man. I hope y'all have me again. And I must say Thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's going to be good. I can't wait to see what else y'all awesome. did. Awesome. Y'all make sure y'all get my good side. Everybody got time for foolishness. It's a lot of niggas like me, but them niggas say me. Bitch, I'm like a thousand. Let the club pop them bottles up and be happy. Bitch, I'm like a thousand. Let the club pop them bottles up and be happy. Bitch, I'm like a thousand. Bad bitches all around me and they focus on me. Bitch, I'm tripping like a thousand.